Okay, let's see. How many people do we have around right now? Um, okay, I'm seeing people chatting. Yeah, who's excited? I mean, I am. There's yes, also me too. Well, plenty of stress going on. Um, <laughs> yeah, maybe we should get started. I'm Richard Darst. I work at Alta University and I'm staff at Code Refinery. And with me is Diana. Morning, everyone. So I'm Diana Yushan. I'm an application expert uh, for Sneak Upmax. I'm also uh, Code Refinery staff. Very happy to be teaching this course uh, together with many others, and I hope you'll find it useful. Yeah, so let's see. Let's go to HackMD now. So I see a lot of people have it open. Yep, that works. Mm, I will scroll down to the bottom. I see many people have already found this and are asking questions. So I haven't had time to read those, but I see someone's been able to answer them. This is basically our method of chat. So instead of having a single linear chat where people can ask and it's either answered right away and gone, it's like this. So, um, Okay, someone in Twitch said they can't hear me. Try refreshing the browser. Well, not that you can hear me say that. Um, but the idea is we use this to communicate. So let's see. Um, so if you see, I can write here in real time. Oh, oh that's what I was going to say. So the HackMD is only for registered participants. Um, and to answer the Twitch question, um, then yes, it's mainly HackMD we're using. So at least one person, at least I'll be looking at Twitch sometimes, but the main point is here. Okay, what was my icebreaker? Uh, where are you? Maybe we can say that if you have not registered and you would like to use the HackMD, then uh, you may still register and you're going to get an automatic email with uh, with some further details. Otherwise, it's perfectly okay to just follow us on Twitch. It's, it's up to you, whatever works best for you. Yeah. Yeah, so people have figured out. So we can basically make this live little bar graph thing here and people can fill in where you're from. Is it the school? Okay. Yeah. So please, so there's an extra O that gets added whenever it's a multiple vote. So don't add the same thing multiple times, but vote for the existing ones if you see it. Okay. Um, what should we ask next for an icebreaker? I thought I had some more things prepared, but... Um... Well, it would be interesting to hear uh, um, people's experience with Jupyter, if they've been using it uh, before or not, so that we know how fast we can go through the lesson. Yeah, okay. Maybe that's, what that's... their interests are from this course. So what was the question? How much have you used Python and Jupyter before? Mm -hmm. So this can be a free choice, I guess, or maybe Yeah, let's see how it goes. <laughs> this is getting a bit fun here, isn't it? So there's some ground rules. So 
what we should do, please write above this info thing at the bottom. So leave some blank lines above it. And I mean, it eventually gets synchronized and it all works out. Yeah, so, well, there'll be a more formal intro to the course once we get to minute zero zero, wherever you may be. But, um, yeah, let's see, are there any important questions from above? Maybe you can ask, have you done the installation stuff? Okay. Mm. Yeah, well, with 130 people editing at the same time, it's looking a bit funny, but that's life. Um, so you do not need a Zoom link. So this course can be completely done via live stream. Zoom link is only for people in the countries that have staff. So basically the way it works, information wants to be free. So the course material and the actual presentations are available to everyone on the internet. But we can't support Zoom and personal interaction for everyone in the world. So those places that have staff who are part of Code Refinery, they have the extra Zoom link and well, everyone that registered has HackMD, I think Enrico can clarify about that. But the point here is if you'd like more stuff, then you should ask your organization to join Code Refinery. Um, so you don't need a Zoom link. How to go to HackMD? You should try registering. So you don't need to register to attend but it was sent to the registered participants. And I'm not sure if you register now, you still get that or not, but you can try. Okay. Mm. So yes, lectures are recorded and Twitch saves them for seven days immediately. And if all goes well, I will edit them and publish them to YouTube by midnight Helsinki time tonight. If anyone's interested in helping make the videos available, I would be very happy for that. And you can figure out how to contact us if you're interested that way. But it's 10 o'clock now. Uh, I see 200 people on stream, 150 on HackMD. Um, uh, there's a volume adjustment request. Uh, one, two, test. Diana, can you say something? Yes, can you hear me all right? Okay, is it better now? Can you say something again? Lots of uh, comments in the hack and It's nice one, that two, uh, people test. found it. Test one, two. Are the volumes more equally adjusted now? Oh, wait. This will make things better. No, it doesn't. Okay. So let's get started. I'm going to come and share my screen.